The third structure that is unique to fetal circulation is the umbilical artery and vein. Remember that the definition of an artery is to carry blood away from the heart, so it makes sense then that the umbilical artery carries blood away from the fetus to the placenta for nutrient waste and gas exchange. It also makes sense that the umbilical artery will have high levels of carbon dioxide and other waste products and low levels of oxygen and nutrients. The function of veins is to carry blood back to the heart, so it makes sense then that the umbilical vein carries freshly oxygenated blood high in nutrients and low in carbon dioxide and waste from the placenta to the fetus. This brings us to the fourth unique structure in fetal circulation, the venosus duct. The venosus duct is located between the umbilical vein and the vena cava and allows the freshly oxygenated clean blood that has been picked up from the placenta to bypass the liver and go directly to the fetal heart via the vena cava. If you can remember that this structure is located between two veins, that is the umbilical vein and the vena cava, it makes it easier to remember that this duct is called the venosus duct. Be sure that you can identify these four structures given a fetal diagram and be able to describe their functions.